Hey, here's a perfect example. Here's a 20 foot soffit and it's actually bowed out, but you really can't see it until it's too late. So when we're doing soffits and when I'm trying to get things perfectly straight, I use chalk lines and a, a, a real easy technique. I basically take a piece of the hydro trim and I'll go to one corner and I'll put it in place and I'll get it just right. I won't shove it up too tight or pinch it out too far. And I'll go ahead and I'll put a pencil mark right where the flange ends on both sides. So I'll do that here and I'll go down to the other end and I'll do that down at the other end. Then I'll chalk a line like I did here. Once I get the line chalked on the top and on the bottom, then I'll come along with my corner before I put anything up and I'll check and make sure everything's just right. That, because what happens is sometimes maybe it'll come down and drop like something's, you know, bowed down. In this case, what I found was when I chalked my line and I came back with my corner, I found that in the middle of the soffit, my flange couldn't get all the way over to the first chalk line. So I got to the high point and I made another pencil mark. And then I saw that I was about three eighths of an inch too far that way. So I went back and chalked the lines again. And here's the second line. So now the second line is here and way over here, I'm going to have to actually kind of fake the corner out. So I'm going to have to bring this way out here and then lay it down because of this hingeability of this flange. You can now, I can now cheat it out. So I can cheat it out and lay it down. Obviously, the more I cheat it out, the more mud will have to go on. But you can actually make imperfect soffits perfect with the hydro trim. Another little helpful hint, that especially if you're doing soffits by yourself using 10 foot sticks, is if you have drywall nails, they're better than drywall screws because screws are thicker. If you have drywall nails, it's much easier to, at least on one of the chalk lines, to go ahead and just tack right in the center of the line, every like two feet. A couple nails. And you'll see what it does is it allows you to go right to the line without looking it underneath as you're focusing on the line up on top. So got my corner, my 10 footer. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate on getting this thing right in line. See, I'm not having to look at the nail or look at the bottom line because the nails are holding it right in place. And as I'm coming down this way, you'll see this kicking out. I'm going to have to put more mud here because of the high point in the center. I'm actually bringing the corner out this way to make this soffit straight. So as you see it coming down here, it's way out. So if I were to put a straight edge on it, you'll see how much fill I have there. Now, another important thing is when you're framing, when you're fixing framing with the hydro trim, you may need to put a couple of staples just to make sure that the adhesive sits and stays down because it's such a radical fill. But now you're going to have a perfectly straight soffit. As we go all the way down there, I put the second piece in, this thing will be sit perfectly sit straight. Once again, if I put a straight edge on this, see how much fill is there? This is, I can almost get my finger under there. That's how high that high point was. So I've just straightened out this soffit, you know, using hydro trim and the flexibility of the flange to be able to cheat the apex out to make it a straight line. Well, while I'm here, once again, the same little nail trick makes it very easy to get the L trim perfectly straight. So I just go ahead and put on some L trim now.
So once again, I'll just go right down to the line. And this is, again, where you can use your handy little rasp and just, as you're going down, So now you have a perfectly straight L trim. This soft is going to come out just absolutely beautiful. Once again, I'm using the nails as a guide, which really helps, especially if you're by yourself. You can just kind of lay it on there. Especially with the hydro trim, you want to be able to get it right early on because it will start setting up on you. Now matching the profiles is no problem. You just get it right there. Because of the radical taper that this has, it's almost like a bead. It just is able to use a box on this. So that will cover no problem whatsoever. So I'm going to get this all up using the nails as a guide and my chalk line in place. I'm going to grab my handy little rasp again. It just keeps from my hand getting worn out. Pulling my nails out as I go. Come down to the end here. And there, that L trim's installed. Very quick, very easy. Now I'm going to do the corner. So I'm going to get it into place. Once again, it's hitting the nails so I don't have to stick my head underneath and look at what I'm doing. Okay, I'll start down here. Get it lined up just right. That's perfect. Okay, I need to go up. I want to make sure I get it. So you see, I can still move it around. It's, I don't know if you can see this in the film, but it's really starting to kick out here. And once again, I want to use my stapler to really get this thing sucked down. I'm just making sure all the flanges are laid down. And there you go. And once again, I'll put a straight edge on this corner. And once again, you'll see the, the amount of fill and how much we had to fake the soffit out because of the high point in the center. That's quite a bit.